Hello guys, welcome to the ICD-10 PCS coding series. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning so that you understand all root operations thoroughly. This is part 47 of the inpatient coding series and today we will learn about the root operation repair from group number 8 of the medical and surgical section in the ICD-10 PCS. I'm Vinay Kumar. I've worked in the medical coding and billing industry for almost 20 years with a lot of exposure to medical coding, auditing, training and mentoring. I have helped many professionals in gaining knowledge and also preparing for medical coding certifications. I'm dual certified from both AHIMA and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. So for today, at the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of coding the root operation repair from the eighth group of root operations. We will look at, look at an example from the uh, medical and surgical section and uh, do an example on this root operation today. So, and remember, uh, medical and surgical section is the most important and the biggest section in ICD-10 PCS. There are a total of 31 root operations in the medical and surgical section and these root operations are divided into nine groups based on similar kinds of attributes of surgical procedures. Today, we are looking at the eighth group which talks about root operations that define other repairs. So there are only two root operations in this eighth group, control and repair. These two root operations are used when the objective of the procedure is to control bleeding by closing off the body part uh, either by cauterizations or by suturing uh, the actual bleeding portion. So basically controlling bleeding but uh, it is either by the root operation control or by the root operation repair. We spoke about the root operation control in our previous video. Okay, and today we will talk about the root operation repair, uh, which carries a character value of Q. Root operations are the most important aspect of building an ICD-10 PCS code. Remember, the root operation always defines the goal or the objective of the procedure. Based on that, you'll have to select the root operation. Always read the, de read the definitions of the root operation and compare them to the actual procedure that was performed. So, root operation repair. The root operation repair is defined as restoring to the extent possible a body part to its normal anatomic structure and function. So, restoring a body part to its normal structure and function is the definition. Now, the repair root operation represents a broad range of procedures for restoring the anatomic structure of a body part such as uh, laceration repairs, suturing for the lacerations. In ICD-10 PCS, the root operation repair functions as a true NEC or a not elsewhere classified root operation that is supposed to be used when the procedure, procedure performed does not meet the definition of one of the other root operations from the medical and surgical section. Like uh, the, uh, for example, uh, bypass as a root operation. Okay, so if bypass is performed, you would have to code bypass. Uh, rather than coding repair as the uh, root operation. So what is the objective and how it was done also defines whether you code for repair or not. Another important point uh, that you need to remember is fixation devices are always included for procedures uh, on the, uh, I mean repair procedures on the bones and joints. So whenever there is a repair procedure done, if fixation devices are uh, used, those are actually included in the procedure itself. Now, these are examples of procedures which are coded un under the root operation repair. Colostomy takedown or colostomy reversal, hernia rafi or suturing of a hernia, laceration repairs using sutures. And uh, remember, uh, when I say hernia repair, specifically for hernia repair procedures, if the hernia repair is performed along with placement of any mesh material, in that case, you cannot code repair as the root operation. It has to be coded as supplement instead 
okay and hernia repair without any mesh placement should be coded as repair as the root operation that's one important thing that you need to remember when you're talking about hernia repairs so this is an example of coding the root operation repair the patient presents for surgical repair of a rotator cuff tear of the left shoulder and undergoes arthroscopic investigation and repair of the glenoid labral ligament so basically uh, this is a left shoulder rotator cuff tear and repair and the procedure was done arthroscopically so this is the table for the arthroscopic repair of the left shoulder rotator cuff tear so the code is 0 m q 2 4 z and z section is medical and surgical 0 body system is bursa and ligaments which is m root operation is repair which is q for the third character for the fourth character the glenoid labral ligament okay now the glenoid labral ligament does not have its own distinct body part value in icd 10 pcs so in this case we need to use the alphabetic index to identify the body part value and that will lead you to shoulder bursa and ligament in the uh, index the other way around you can also look up the body part key to look up the glenoid labral ligament it will lead you to the shoulder bursa and ligament left and right that way you can identify the body part value so the body part value in this case would be left shoulder bursa and ligament approach for the fifth character is percutaneous endoscopic since this is an arthroscopic procedure and all, all arthroscopy procedures are coded to this approach value sixth character is z for the device i mean which is no device and the seventh character is z again for no qualifier so the key points from this video if a more specific root operation such as bypass or reposition or replacement or resection is performed then the root operation repair is not coded separately again another one is body part key should be used when the body part values are not available directly in the tables there would be instances where you need to use the body part key to find specific uh, body part values so as usual you will find the online version of the icd 10 pcs coding manual from this link uh, I provided uh, this link in the description of the video. This is from CMS. Okay, once you get to this link, click on the zip file which contains the code and tables and also code tables and also the index. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe and support the channel. Uh, I hope these videos help everyone in learning ICD 10 pieces and inpatient concepts. Uh, this is re really important for inpatient coders because without knowing ICD 10 pieces, it's not easy for you to code in an inpatient environment. In the next videos, we will talk about root operation fusion from group number 9. I will also do a video on upcoming updates for the CPT for year 2023 and then also start a separate series for CPT coding and ICD and CM coding as well. Thank you.